PC Whisket here. Very excited to show you the latest web browsers and we're benchmarking them all together here at the end of 2017. I've given all of these web browsers a lot of time to get their act together, do their updates, you know, get the latest compatibility issues out of the way and support for the latest technology so they can give us the best browser experience as possible. Now, when I'm running my tests, I'm running these on a four core CPU laptop with eight gigs of memory, nothing fancy. I'm doing tests that are measuring basically efficiency and completing predefined lists of tasks such as these in general. Uh, all the tests are done online and um, different algorithms are being loaded of course to perform different tests on the client browser such as rendering and animation, do document object model transformations, string operations, mathematical calculations, sorting algorithms, graphic and performance tests, memory instructions, you name it. Still doing some HTML5 and JavaScript tests, of course. Now, some of these uh, benchmarks, you know, they are out of date a little bit, but still they give us a good result. And these are the different versions of the browsers that I'm using so that you know what I'm getting. You know, every couple weeks they come out with new ones, new versions, but more or less you're going to get a good idea based on this baseline right here, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, one of the benchmarks that I've been using for years is Peacekeepers from FutureMark. And I'm going to be using that starting first, okay? So this is the first benchmark that I'm running. Again, running, running these different types of rendering, mathematical, and memory operations, okay? And it's going to give me results similar to this for each browser and then a final score for all of them. And basically, when I ran all these tests on all those browsers, the one that got ahead was Firefox 57. You can see there the score that it got coming in with Opera 2nd and Chrome 3rd. So basically, we're going to give one point to Firefox for taking the lead there on that benchmark. Moving along now to Jetstream, that's another separate benchmark. Uh, Jetstream combines a variety of JavaScript benchmarks from SunSpider and Octane 2. You can see that right there. So a variety of open source and uh, it uses different libraries to load up these different JavaScripts and uh, on the client and then give us a, a, a result for each of those, okay? And uh, once it gives us a result, it weighs a final score and it gives us a score. And you can see here an example on what Microsoft Edge got when I ran that test. And actually Microsoft Edge won and beat all of these browsers in this test. So one point there for Microsoft Edge. Moving along, we're doing a web XPRT and HTML5 test. So this is really two tests in one. Um, so I'm going to give two points for this one. And you can see here, uh, different browsers got different results and we're able to complete the um, full test of HTML5 almost. So we're going to give one to Opera and one to uh, Edge there because they took the leads on those tests. Another benchmark here is Octane. As I uh, mentioned earlier, wide variety of JavaScript apps that it's loading here to run different tests on the browser. Here's an example of the score output that I got for Chrome. And uh, Chrome actually won and uh, took the lead on that with a close Firefox coming in second. But I'm going to give the point to Chrome on this one. So there's the overall score so far. Benchmark number five is with Basemark Web 3.0, a comprehensive browser benchmark doing all these types of performance tests. So you can see capabilities and responsiveness. And the one that uh, took the lead right there, as you can see, Chrome came in pretty strong and takes another point. So really we got a tie there between edge and chrome but speedometer is going to do a you know a test on speed let's just see how it does here and you can see that chrome comes in first close by opera at 51.1 uh, wow still chrome takes the lead there another point and uh, another benchmark here is a visual one okay this is up to you what do you think i'm going to load my website with all these browsers we're going to start with internet explorer 11 and uh, I'm going to, all of the browser caches have been emptied, right? We're loading it for the first time. Put in the URL, hit the go button there at the top. Let's just see. Tell me what you think. It loaded all at once, not bits and pieces. Now we're going to click on uh, reviews here at the top. And then may maybe just load uh, gaming rig configurations, which has an embedded playlist from YouTube videos. And let's see how long that takes. All right. So a little bit of a lag there loading up that playlist. Let's do uh, Microsoft Edge now, and you can tell me uh, what you thought about how fast it loads my website and, of course, the same embedded playlist video. So here we go. Actually, that was pretty quick. That's not bad. And now we'll click on uh, Reviews here at the top and then Gaming Rig Configurations. 
and there comes up the video playlist all right okay not too bad not too bad moving along let's take a look at the next browser Firefox 57 okay first time loading uh, the site all right so putting in the URL at the top clicking on the uh, go there and there comes the site now Firefox just happens to have the ad blocker enabled so that's uh, no no different if, even if I had the ads enabled on the website it still loads the same amount of time just so you know whether the ad blocker is on or off the the page was still loading about the same amount of time so that didn't really make a difference disabling the uh, the ad blocker okay just so you you know that uh, and then of course we uh, click on the um, reviews there and then gaming rig configurations and okay so a little bit of the delay there opening up the embedded playlist video but anyways moving along to Chrome 62 let's see how fast that one goes so ready to hit enter on that and away she goes alright that's uh, not bad not bad and then click on reviews there we go and yeah that's okay not too bad not too bad all right moving along to Opera 49 here's the Opera browser and we'll hit enter on that and there it is okay so it's loaded up a couple of sections at a time there hmm interesting all right and gaming rig configurations and let's just see a little bit of a lag there opening up each section but uh, no, you know, you decide what you think. Torch 57. Here we go. Next. Using the Torch browser. All right. That was actually, you know, decent, I guess. And uh, gaming rig configurations. That's actually pretty quick. Loading up the uh, embedded playlist video. That wasn't too bad. And the Maxon. Here we go. Let's take a look at this and see how well it performs. Hit enter, and there comes the page. All right, so a little bit laggy, loading up the different sections, and then gaming rig configuration. So let's just see the embedded video playlist, how long it takes to load that. There we go. All right, so it gives you a good idea there. Last but not least, an oldie but a goodie, we're going to do Sea Monkey. Why not? Put in Sea Monkey, hit enter on that one, and... All right, so loaded up each section kind of separately there and gaming rig configurations and the playlist loads fairly good. That wasn't too bad. All right, so you decide here what's going on, right? Do we have a clear winner in your eyes? I mean, obviously from the scores, Chrome took the lead, followed closely by Microsoft Edge. Firefox, it could be a tie if you think Firefox is faster uh, you know tie with Microsoft Edge or does Edge actually tie with Chrome? What's the verdict? Well, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Did Chrome actually win or was it a tie with Microsoft Edge?